Welcome back to the Nurturing Kate's channel. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. Please do have a look around the channel. There's lots of other resources, particularly around parenting with a narcissist or parental alienation. If, you're, if um, you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, please do click the button for us. It really does help us reach more people. So you've probably been left wondering, how does the narcissist always get, to get away with it? How does everyone always believe them? Why are they so good at manipulation? And this video is going to look at three key ways that they're able to do this so effectively. And more importantly, once you know this, it enables you to get on an equal footing with them. Because at the minute, it always seems like they're a few steps ahead of you. So reason number one is simply the way our brains are set up. We tend to think either from a logical point of view, a survival point of view, or an emotional point of view. And these are all based on our differences, our experiences, and the situation itself. The narcissist, the emotional part of their brain hasn't developed as well in childhood. And so they tend to come at it from the logical and the survival point of view. So if you're in a stressful situation, they're attacking you for whatever reason or there's an argument you're probably thinking with your emotional brain and let's be honest our emotional brains let us down sometimes because they're not logical they're not always doing what's best for us at that moment in time they are just think they're just shoving all of these emotions in our way and and so we can end up looking a little bit unstable because we're coming from what the emotional part of our brain. Whereas the narcissist is able to think logically and in survival mode to stay very calm. And even when their statements are either passive aggressive or overtly aggressive, it's done in such a way that it seems to be a logical step for them. So to the outside looking in, you end up looking like you're being unfair and unreasonable because yours isn't necessarily logical, it's emotional. And they look very calm, collected, and like I said, reasonable in what they're saying or doing in public. The next reason is that the narcissist can come across as being very reasonable and you in turn come across as being very controlling but what's really happening is that the narcissist is being covertly controlling and so and other people who don't get it who don't know the dynamics all they see is you and you're being honest you're being out out there you're being open but that can come across as quite controlling so let me give you an example of what i mean by this so it may be that the narcissist covertly in an argument that's in public people can see would say i don't appreciate the way you're talking to me you're you're putting me down you react because they've been telling utter lies about you in front of everyone by saying but you're lying everything you've just said has been a complete lie all you ever do is tell lies to the outside looking in who looks at fault there the person who's got this reasoned argument but they're very controlled about it and that winds you up it it pushes your triggers but people don't see that they don't see the covert controlling behavior they just see your overt either aggressiveness or response and so they completely mislead and therefore the narcissist is able to manipulate anyone who is looking in on the situation because they don't understand they they're just taken by what they see which is you appear to be aggressive or controlling and they appear to be perfectly reasonable in what they're asking but actually what they're saying is very controlling they're saying don't talk to me like that you they they control what you can and can't talk about i'm not willing to talk about that right here right now but they're never willing to talk about it or they've brought it up and no one's seen that bit. And like I say, they are covertly trying to control the conversation, but when you react, it can look like you are overtly trying to control it. So to everyone else, you look like the bad guy, they look like the good guy. And it's so manipulative. And the final one is that your natural responses, like you talked about, your, the way your brain goes, 
they then used against you and very cleverly used against you. So what happened is they created this narrative to anyone that will listen about you. They said that you are unstable, they said that you're aggressive, they said that you're controlling, they said that you are mental, they said that you are a bully. And so they will then bait you into this situation in public and actually your natural response to something you've for example in the parental alienation case might have been going on for numerous years and the you're you're being accused of something in 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 a meeting which is a lie and obviously you're annoyed about that because everyone looks like they're believing it so you get frustrated and you get angry at that and they stay calm and collected but your natural response fits in perfectly with their narrative they've been telling everyone you're all these things and your natural response to being accused of something you didn't do or them lying or whatever it is that they've done your response looks like the problem as opposed to the fact that what they're saying is actually the problem and people get easily drawn into that and that is why they are so good at manipulation is because they play their role perfectly they draw you into that drama triangle of victim abuser and protector and they line you up to play the a role of the abuser and they slot perfectly into the role of either the victim or the protector of the children and that is how they manipulate everyone so now you know that this is about how do you regulate your own responses and that isn't easy because like i said your brain will automatically go to an emotional response but being more aware taking that time to think where am i responding from trying to think a little bit more logically being in an adult state can really make a massive difference to how you come across to other people and therefore change people's perspectives the bottom line is you know the truth that's all that matters but in cases where you're co-parenting you're at court um, all of those situations you need to be aware of how you are coming across because it's being used against you so i hope that this video has helped don't forget to click the subscribe button, it really does help. Drop a comment, let me know what you think. A like would be great. Please do go to our Facebook page if you want to keep up with more free resources that I share. The link is on the screen. And don't forget that I have got my free Blueprint for Life After the Narcissist course. The link is on the screen as well. Take care everyone. Speak soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.